Mr. Salvador Gomez. Mr. Gomez's topic is freedom of speech. <clears throat> Mayor, City Council, it's a beautiful day in downtown Baghdad. City Manager, Madame Joyce Wilson. Uh, the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States of America reads in part, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, the abridging the freedom of speech. And that's my subject, the freedom of speech. And um, the rights of the citizens must not be abridged without proper cause. This city council has established that a personal comment towards anyone in city council is designed as a personal attack. Lately, in fact, in the last 12 months or so, the people of El Paso have been very outspoken. The mayor and city council has taken their commentary as a personal attack. Well, you've caused it. You've caused it. You have violated something so precious to what we believe in, and that is our vote. You stepped on that. You are abridging one of my rights, and that's the freedom of speech. What you call a personal attack is not proper cause. The El Paso ones are very ticked off, just like myself, Salvador Gomez, poor man walking. I'm ticked off at what you did. It has nothing to do with people being married or not. It's the, it's the fact that People went to the polls, they made a decision, and you stepped on that. I, as one of we, the people of the United States of America, feel violated since you disrespected my vote. The power of the city council further uses the police force to militarize this city council to inhibit the freedom of speech. I tell you what, city council, we don't need a policeman here with a taser gun, with uh, some other kind of chemical there and a nine millimeter fully loaded service revolver. We don't need that. That person could stand outside city council and look at the monitor. And that's it. We don't need this guy here. These armed guerrillas with a badge is not necessary and militarizing the city council is not good. So naturally poor man walking gets ticked off because you generated this this emotional outcry. I didn't. You did, Mayor. City Council who voted. So I, as a member of the citizens of El Paso, will totally support a recall of the Mayor, Susie Berg, Representative, and Representative Steve Ortega. It is the right thing to do. People think that it, it is the right thing to do. So my battle cry is recall, recall, recall. Mayor John Cook, Representative Susie Burt, and Representative Steve Ortega. 